everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. I'm back from a short vacation, was gone eight days, and it was wonderful. Um, had a little bit of a trip with some family, and now I'm back ready to paint again. And I have a 10 by 20 inch canvas here today, and I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be um, a traveling cup pour, but what I'm going to do is I cut the bottom out of a little plastic cup, and then I put holes up a little higher around this paper cup, and I'm going to um, put the plastic cup inside the paper cup, fill my cup with paint, and then lift this plastic cup up and let the paint come out the outside of the uh, paper cup. So let's go over my paints I have. My base coat today is just Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And then I added to that some Deco Art Elegant Finish. And this is the White Pearl. Just to uh, bling it up a little bit, make it a little bit shiny. My next color is I am using the Folk Art Dragonfly Glaze. And this is the one that turns red. I'm sorry, it starts with green, gold, and then a red shift to it. Very pretty. My next color is Modern Masters Metallic Sachet Red. Very pretty color. My next color is Porridge Posse Paints, the Persian Autumn Yellow. My next color is again the Modern Masters uh, Metallic Green Apple. My next color is DecoArt uh, Americana Decor Metallics, the, the Deep Sapphire. My next color is DecoArt Extreme Sheen, the 24 karat gold. My next color is Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, and this is the Rich Brown. A very deep brown, pretty color. My last color is a combination of Amsterdam Permanent Green Deep and Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. I just added those two together. My pouring medium today is seven parts of the mix to one part paint, and I did add about three uh, drops of water into all my paint. So what I'm gonna do is turn my camera off, I'm gonna put my base coat down, and I'll bring you back when I fill my cup up. So I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've put my base coat down um, and I'm ready to fill my cup. And I did forget to tell you about consistency with adding uh, about three uh, drops of water. I'll show you that consistency. Just leaves a little trace, not really even a, a mound or anything. I wanted the paint to be able to move. So let's get started. And I'm just going to... Um, layer them right down the middle here today because I do want them to mix. So here's that dark blue. And the combination of the green. And then I do have the light green. Next, I'm going to put some gold. And since I do have some white left, I will put some white in there. Add the yellow. And the red. Now I'm going to add that flash color. And I'll start my layers over. My brown. 
my deep blue. In my greens. The gold. And a little more white. Red. And lastly, I'll add that flash color. And I will use that up. And I do have paints left in case I want to do another cup. Okay, so let's just see how this works. Hopefully it will work. I did punch my holes pretty big. So let's see how the paint comes out. Really does make a neat pattern. And I will just cover the whole canvas, I guess. And I cannot take credit for um, this little invention. I saw this, I would say, almost a year ago on YouTube. There was an artist that had come up with this idea. And I never tried it at the time, but I thought it, that it looked kind of fun. So... Okay, and what I'm going to do is just put my cup back down in the other cup. And I think I will just use this paint that I lost here. Okay, I'll give it a torch. The gold looks very, very pretty in there. And now I'm going to do some tilting. Move the paint around. I'm really liking it so far. I am glad that I left a little bit of white there. I'm not sure I'll have any left, but as of right now, I like it. Just moving it down to this edge. And 
gonna bring it back. I'm just gonna take a look at it here. I'm just uh, fixing my corners here. I can tell you what I really do like is this right in here, that yellow. I'm going to pull my cup out again and see if I have any of the lighter paint left that would come out. Looks like there's some red there. Just all experimenting and playing around here. Okay, and I'm going to do a little more tipping now with just what I added. Very busy painting. I really like the, the results that I got from that, those two cups like that. Okay, I'm going to take another look here. And I'm going to tip down to this corner here. Just tip a little bit off. And then I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to take another look at it. Fix my corner here. And I think I will clean off the bottom and then I'll torch it. Just fix up the side a little bit here. I'm really, really loving this in here. Very, very pretty. And that 24 karat gold is just coming through, through so pretty. I'm going to give it another torch here. And then I'll bring it down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, here we are for our close-up. Again, this is a 10 by 20 inch canvas that I just did a, uh, I guess you'd call it a little strainer pour, a handmade strainer. And just look at how beautiful and shiny these colors are together. Beautiful. lot a lot of colors going on here this was really a fun pour 
And I'll take you up the middle here now. Just so crisp in here, so pretty. This is one of my favorite spots of the painting. That's right at the top in the middle. And right in here, beautiful in here. This is down the right hand side. I really like the effects I got here. You can see the cloudy effect on the far right there. And then the, the lines coming down are so pretty. Beautiful in here. Just beautiful. And down in here. That's one of my favorite spots too. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell. Choose all. So you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Consider subscribing if you like my channel. Thank you for watching, everyone. It's, I'm glad to be back. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.